Okay, so this video we are going to do the front grill on a Tesla Model S. Very popular thing to do. There's a big old slab of chrome there. We're going to go through each part as we dechrome it for this video. It's just a grill. So pop the trunk, frunk, whatever they call it, and then lift up these plastic bits, front bit, just clips out, chuck it out of the way. The T bit is held on by three screws, two at the top. I think they were a T25. Uh, there's one at the back. It's a bit hard to get, but if you undo these four bolts here, you haven't got to, but it just lets the top bend a bit more. You can get your screwdriver in. And undo it. If you can't, it's all a bit rigid and you can't get in. You gotta move the, the front latch out of the way, like so. Next step is clean it. We use the fold it pre dip, it's an excellent cleaner. Just use a microfiber cloth, clean the whole thing up. Next phase after that is we'd use the mat pack um, pre dip. Didn't take really sticks. The camera, we pressed record and obviously we were pressing stop and stuff when we were masking, but you get the gist. Leave about a centimetre, half centimetre all the way around it. Once you've fully masked it up, again, a bit of tissue, squirt some of the mat pack pre dip on it and give it a quick wipe down. It gets rid of all your fingerprints and anything you've been resting on with the tape. Just make sure it's nice and clean. The cleaner it is, the better the dip's going to stick. If you don't clean it properly, especially in all the corners, then it's going to lift and it's going to fail and it's going to be your fault. As you know, you get two nozzles with a full dip. We use the white one for pretty much everything, hardly ever use the red one. Now the first coat is a real nasty looking dust coat, real, real fast. But that's exactly what you want. If you look here, you can see how speckled it is, all the chrome still showing. That's exactly what you want, nice little grip coat. Now, if you look at the masking around it, you can see it's hardly any. Let that dry, as soon as it turns matte, hit it with another light coat. You can go see it still looks terrible. Although on this, it, it looks all black, it's not fully black. Again, look at the masking tape either side, you can see it's not fully. Now that's dried up, turned matte, we get it with a proper wet coat. Now you can tell the difference in the speed. We're moving the aerosol and the mask on either side of it is all turned in properly black. This is a proper wet coat. This is exactly what we want. Four of these to be down. That'll give it its durability and strength and your ability to peel. Now we're looking close up now. You can see that looks proper wet. That's exactly what we want. Four of them. It's going to look good. Leave that dry. Once it's dried out, as you can see, fully matte, nice and smooth, bit of debris snuck in there, but uh, other than that, looks done good. Next phase, the peeling, Let's get rid of that chunk. Now, we couldn't record the other bit, God knows why, but we haven't got it. The tape there, we just slipped down the back because there was a gap, and remember, we, when you mask, you leave like a half a centimetre gap around everything because there's a clear gap between the chrome or the fake plastic chrome and the and the bumper which will peel all fine as you can see here just be nice and careful you come round that's it see it'll pull that extra little gap there that will come off with it you can just tidy the other little bits up that it leaves behind at the end all the way around peel the rest of it off that's it peeled there you go and that's what it looks like We've already put it back together here. You can see the T on it, but the T was done exactly the same. There it is, look at when we removed it, we cleaned it, fold it, and then the mat pack, breed it, one dust coat, second dust coat. As you can see with the dust coats, it's not fully covered, looks a bit rough, but four wet coats later on it. It's all dried, fitted back to the car, and there you go. So we're gonna make some more videos of de-chroming the rest of it later, but for now, there's the grill, de-chromed. 